subframe off, um, cleaned everything, and this whatever some idiot sprayed in the bay. I thought it was Plasti Dip, but now I'm thinking it's something else. Unless it, the bay got really, really hot and it caked on like regular paint. Cause there's like a clear level. Uh, like you can see this like clear stuff that comes off easy. But then there's another layer underneath and it's like paint. Like my, the Black Mark II, uh, 1ET that I had, uh, just pretty much looks like the same thing. I'll grind all this rust area out and um, then spray this. I need to take the dash out because I'm going to redo the heater box. For, you know, new um, heater core. You know, make sure everything's brand new. So. As you can see, I've been in the interior. I pulled out the HVAC box and um, there's a whole bunch of wires and like just crap that you don't need um, that comes in the Corrado. I mean, there's so many wires that I don't know if I'm gonna just leave them in there or take them out because there's just so much I'm not gonna use. But so yeah, I have the, obviously the the dash is off and the, the box is over there. So cleaned up as much as I could behind there. And uh, since I had all that off, I put the adapter pedal in for the Mark IV um, pedal that I use on all my swaps. And so this is the Corrado, so this is the Corrado pedal assembly, and I usually use the B4 Passat pedal assembly. And I, I always wanted to know if there are any um, differences, and there's not in the Corrado. It's exactly the same, pretty much, as the Passat. So I was really excited about that. I mean, it would have been easy to get to. I, I pulled off everything um, anyways, but didn't have to do that. There was a couple bolts missing in the pedal assembly, so put a couple bolts in. I have a couple more I still need to put in, but yeah, got the pedal in, which was pretty easy with everything off. So that's what's going on uh, in there. And then the box, I had it open. I'll put a picture up right here. I had the box open. I already had a new heater core, so I put a new heater core in. I took out the AC huge condenser or whatever it is, not condenser, the huge AC part that they put in here. Dude, that thing's like 10, 15 pounds. It's massive. That's in the garbage, obviously. I don't need AC, so. The box is, um, I think I have it pretty much good to go uh, back in. I head to, there's a couple of things that stick out from here that I shave off and then I like to plug this up. Um, I had a non-AC plate, so I put that here. All right, well, it's been a couple days and I've got done quite a bit more. So I've got the heater core box back in, got the dash back in, all the wires are back and hooked up and everything. Um, after that, like I said before, the idiots that sprayed the bay with, I don't know what it was anymore, I, uh, Got it all sprayed black. So now it's all nice and glossy looking. I don't know. I don't really care what the bay looks like. I don't really open my hood. I just want to put the engine in here so I can drive it. So that's where I'm at.
So got the bushings out of the Mark II arms. And then I need, I can get the, uh, whatever the middle piece is called out. Uh, I can't get the bearings out though. I'm gonna need a press for that. So waiting for my new bearings to get here. Then I'm gonna go use my friend's press. Um, also, I've got the O2J shift box in there, nice and high, like I wanted it. Pretty much the same thing as my Mark II video, the how-to video I did. I'll link it right here, um, except for I needed to grind a little bit more in the tunnel, like down here, because uh, I try to put, get mine, you know, as high as possible. So the um, to keep it nice and smooth, I had to grind just a little bit more uh, where the cables come out, but no big deal. So that's in there nice and smooth. That's about it. Um, probably start on the wiring now, get the C2 box in there, start plugging everything in. And then I have, so here's all the wiring that goes into the engine bay uh, for the body stuff. I'm gonna cut all this old plastic off and make it look a little bit nicer this time since I've done it a couple times. This is the wrap that we use, make the wires look a little bit better. Wrap them all together nicely so they fit nice and low uh, in the bay here. But that's about it as I wait for my, my hub bearings to get here so I can use the press to do those. And I gotta order uh, the bushings for my Mark II arms. Uh, that's gonna be it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, probably gonna take a couple days off as Christmas is pretty much here and I'll see you guys after the holidays. Thank <laughs> you.